Right guys, it's been six months since my last update and the reason for that is it's been a very, very busy time, uh, work, personal life, but it's all good because a lot of things have changed at the allotment, a lot of improvements and a lot of things I've been wanting to do for a long, long time has finally taken place. Um, the shed's still there, which is still <laughs> doing my nut in it a little bit, but um, I'm just working around it at the minute. I'll get it moved. I don't think it's going to move. It's very, it's more rickety than I thought it was, because I've started clearing the area around it, ready to slide it. And the more I cleared, and the more I got a proper look at the supports and the slats underneath, I'm not too sure that it physically can be moved um, without breaking it. So I'm going to have to see what happens with that. Um, <clears throat> Not do the video update from the plot for another couple of weeks still because there's still some things I want to do and then I'll do the video because it'll show you everything then. But everything's going really, really well. Um, it's it's nearly where I wanted it to be, just a little bit behind, but that's because the weather's been a bit off. Had a terrible start to the year, just rain, rain, rain. And then because my plot's really heavy clay, you just you can do other jobs, but really, if it's soil, you just have to leave alone. It just turns into quagmire and it's the drainage is pretty bad um, at the plot at the minute because they've just built flood fences um, about a mile half a mile sorry up the river from where the plot is protects it from the floods but also it stops water draining back out into the river trent so a few of the plot holders have all said they've noticed the grounds holding water much more than it would do we're on a borehole so it's when it's wet it's wet so once it's all done I'll, I'll do a proper video, but I thought I'd just do one from this shed, uh, shed greenhouse maybe, because um, lots is going on, as I'll show you in a minute. And I'm just come out quickly to plant up me sweet corn, and I'm going to use these fibre pots. I've not used them before. Last year I uh, used newspaper pots because I'm a tight ass and I didn't want to buy anything like this. The only problem was I planted too soon bit eager and they grew too quick and they very very quickly outgrew their pots. They're bigger than this but I put them all in this tray here, this is my big tray, it's what I always use for my soup corn because I do about 50 plants and I have one here in the corner but the roots will be going over there and the whole idea of using newspaper was not to disturb the roots so I could just literally plonk it in the ground. Uh, so obviously as you can imagine that wasn't the case when it came to planting them out and they spent about a month horrible and yellow and dying at the allotments. Um, I'm surprised they even survived to be honest. Um, and then they didn't do anything, they were terribly poor at producing any corns, uh, ears of corn. And the ones I did get either got eaten by the birds or like really really small. So. It's a real shame because I love my sweet corn. All my friends are usually quite keen to sort of pilfer it from me. Um, so I'm going to try these. And I've, it's the 18th, so I, it's normally it's about three weeks later than what I'd normally plant it. Um, they are much smaller than what I've planted in before. So this is the sort of size I'm used to planting. Let's we'll see. So it's much smaller, but I can plant these out much earlier. And I've got some nice fleece which I can put down if we do have any risks of frost. Um, Another thing that's changed this year, I don't know if the camera can see. I'm using this stuff which is Jack's Magic. Um, I used to use that bulk buy fur stuff from B&Q and it's the biggest bag of shite. Uh, literally, um, it, it used to be really, really good, and it used to it won quite a few Witch Best Buy awards. And I don't know if that's gone to their heads, thinking they can just cut back on the quality. And uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not expecting the most amazing compost when you're only paying seven quid for a couple hundred litres nearly. Um, so this year I've gone with this because I saw it in another video, and um, it's. It's quite high peat, but it's got seaweed and sand in. It's, it's supposed to be quite good. Um, so I want to give everything a good start, particularly like sweet corn. It gets very hungry very quickly, especially in a small little pot like this. I expect these only to be in there for a couple of weeks at most. I'll stick them out and I'll put some fleece on them just till they're a little bit more climatized and uh, away we go. 
hopefully, that's the plan anyway. Um, this year I'm growing uh, lark, which is a variety I've grown quite a few times, and for me, to be honest, it's the best one I've ever grown. Um, it's very hardy, grows really nice big ears of corn as well, really big, bigger than what you get in the shops, and they're really, uh, I think they're semi-sweet variety, but they're, they're amazing, and all my mates keep asking for it. When's the sweet corn ready? When's the sweet corn ready? Yeah, I don't get to eat as much of it as I like to, but yeah, I do about 50. There's 25 in each pack, so I'm going to do two packs. Um, but you can't have too much corn, can you? It's amazing. Um, other things, other developments, I've got myself a tiller. I've got one, um, it's a mantis one, but it was, it's about eight years old, but you know what? Worth its weight in gold. Um, got just over a hundred quid off Gumtree um, from a landscaper who upgraded to the more beefier version of it and um, yeah it's it's fab. Um, the only thing that I've got to wait, oh, I'll just knock one over, I have to wait till the right time is right in terms of using it on the soil because again like I said I've got clay soil so if it's a bit heavy or wet it just it struggles. Instead of getting like a tilth you just get clumps which isn't the best. Um, however, it's, it's fab. Um, I think in a couple of hours I've given the whole main bed what I call superficial tilling, just just out 10 odd centimetres just to get the top end of things broken down a bit. Um, but for the potatoes, I, I really went to town on where the potatoes are going this year, um, getting it full depth, about a foot. Really going over it, that took ages, going forward and back, forward and back, so hopefully now that the soil has been broken down properly I'll be able to get you know, a good result from the potatoes because they've they gone in the ground this year, not in pots because the problem I found in pots was by the time we bought the pots, which are about three quid each so it's about £30 for a ten, which is for your average packet of seed potato that's just for one variety the time you put your compost in, which even with cheap stuff works out at about 12 12 15 quid. That's quite expensive, and that's not without the fertiliser and the seed potato. Unless you've got a really good source of compost for free, if you've got something good going on there. But um, so this year it's gone in the ground. I've done my salad, half my salad potatoes have gone in the garden here because I've got a massive vegetable bed. Um, it's six metres by three metres, it's quite big, and now I've got a plot, it kind of is a bit empty. Because I'm not growing tomatoes in it this year, I'm doing about hanging baskets. Um, the other tomatoes I grow, I'll grow up the, up at the plot while I'll grow them in here. And yeah, I don't really put so much in there. Again, like the kale I used to grow in the garden is now all being grown at the plot. So I'm going to use some of it for my salad potatoes. Because um, obviously, I find salads they, they start sprouting really quickly when you bring them in from the shop. So if I've got a sauce nearby, hopefully I'll minimise that. Right, let's. Uh, Stop doing this. Right, I'm going to just grab the camera so I apologise. <clears throat> right, that's them all done. That's 48 of them in all. And hopefully within about a week or so they should uh, start poking through. I'm hoping to get at least 40 plants out of all that lot. Um, usually sweet corn's quite good for germinating, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, all done. It didn't take that long at all. And hopefully these, these fibre pots will do me a little bit better than my previous attempts so um, yeah, they might just have to go out a little bit sooner because like I said they are quite small but a bit of fleece should hopefully uh, keep them happy I'm not going to bother showing you any of the flowers because um, there's quite a few trays of them here but I'll just stick to all the veg um, for, the for the moment right these here are the New England pie pumpkins I planted these only a week ago well, in less than a week ago, and they've come through already, which is really, really good. Um, my giant pumpkins here. Planted four. Obviously, I'll, I'll only plant on two of them, but I'll just pick the best. That's, again, another competition between my two children who can grow the biggest. For the New England uh, pie pumpkin, I've got, I think, eight I've started off, but I'd probably only grow about four. I grew four last year, and he did really, really well. Gave me about 20 pumpkins, which is a nice number. This one here is my asparagus. 
I've only just started this one off, I've got two different varieties. This one I've got a massive packet of seeds, so I've done a whole tray, uh, probably only keep about half a dozen. But if over here, this is a very early sowing, I did this about six weeks ago, and again I can't remember the variety, but out of 12 I've had 8 come through, which I'm quite pleased with, because um, my previous attempts at growing from seed for asparagus failed. And if I remember rightly, this variety you can pick in its second year, um, as in so you've got your first year this year, and then next year, when it comes through, you can actually pick it, uh, which is one of the reasons I picked this variety. But obviously you don't get as many seeds. So you obviously can't pick them very heavily, but you can get a little something. Whereas the other ones, you have to wait about three years. It's a bit of an investment, but I can plant out so many more plants financially than if I would buy the actual crowns. I was tempted to get some crowns from Wilco's or somewhere like that. Um, because they weren't particularly expensive, but uh, when I went to have a look at them, they didn't look very, very good condition. So I thought I'd go from seed and just be a bit patient, and uh, we'll hopefully... Uh, we'll see how that gets me. This uh, got a couple of chilies, nothing really fancy. Got some peppers coming through on this row here. I've got three of them so far, and they are the long, super sweet types. So they'll be grown in the uh, greenhouse here. So I'm holding out. I really hope they do well because um, we do lot, use a lot of peppers in cooking. So we'll see. We'll see. And also very expensive in the shops. So about two pound for just two of them. Um, so I've got a couple of them in the greenhouse, hopefully that'll keep me going for a while. Um, right, leeks. Uh, never grown leeks before. I permanently borrowed this from work, and which seems to be a lot of people using these polystyrene boxes for them. And yeah, I don't really use many leeks, but if I've got them, I'm sure I'll put them to use. Uh, it's a free packet of seeds, so I thought, why not really? Uh, everyone seems to get quite good results, apparently they're quite easy to grow and look after themselves. Um, this tray is my tomatoes which I've only just started off a bit late this year because I kind of forgot to plant them out but uh, hopefully they'll catch up now the weather's got a bit warmer so I've got my Roma, my plum sort of type which I grow every year. Um, I've got quite a few of them as you can see I like to do a big bed of those and I've got some Tumbling tum tum tumble tumbling tum tomatoes, I can't get my words out. Um and they're designed for hanging baskets, so I'm gonna do some big hanging baskets this year, um rather than doing them on the ground. I've also got a few bits of kale coming through here as well. Uh, next to my sunflowers, which again I only planted these out last week. And they've all shot through ridiculously quickly. Just down here I've got uh, three blueberry plants. I got these from uh, B&M and it was less, uh, I think it was about £4.80 for all of them. In fact, I think for compost, the ericaceous compost cost more than the actual plants themselves, which was uh, a bit of a chuckle, but they all go out to the plot. Um, they'll be dug in in a bucket, uh, probably in the next fortnight or so, just when I've got space in the car when I go down, because I'm taking it the tiller down quite often at the minute just getting the soil ready so it's a bit of a squeeze um, and last but not least just under some cover some salad some spinach rocket and lettuce it's a bit patchy so I'll give it another fortnight and if it needs to be I'll put another sewing um, this glass is from the cold frame which is just there um, it's just to give it an extra little bit of warmth so um, just to keep, get, a, get a head start on things because let's plant this out about three weeks ago and it's still quite cold. Um, and the last bit, just a bucket with some leftover seed potatoes, because um, I've planted them all up at the allotment now. Uh, they've all gone in the ground, apart from three random uh, Charlotte salad potato seeds I had left. And I didn't want to have to start off a half a row just for three seed potatoes. I thought I'd make use of the many buckets I have. Um, that's it, my battery is flashing uh, for low. I will do an update in about two to three weeks when a few more things have happened at the allotment. Um, in particular, I need to build my bean frame because my beans are going in. Um, I'm going to be potting them up this weekend, so I need to get the frame knocked up. 
because um, if I remember rightly from last year, they grew pretty quick and needed to be planted out pretty quickly as well. Um, so that's it, and uh, happy growing, and I'll catch up with you all um, within about a fortnight, hopefully. Bye-bye.